welcome back. As we promised, the conversation is all about KTV, the remix. So let's just start the conversation with our judges. Of course, we are joined by Jenny Lovell, who is no, no stranger to KTV. Miss Jenny, you look lovely this morning. Thank you. <laughs> we also have with us Alex Evans, also a familiar KTV judge, and a new face. Yes. Good morning to Andaze Panton, Good a morning. new KTV judge. Yes. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Nice to have you guys here with us. So I want to know first and foremost, are we excited for KTV season five? You, I know you guys were actively involved in the auditions. How are we feeling so far? Excited. Yeah. <laughs> very excited, yeah. Yeah, very, very excited. I think um, we had a lot of really good singers come out and audition this year. So we had, we had our, our, our work cut out for us in, in screening and everything. Yeah, I, I understand that this season we had uh, record-breaking auditions uh, we had the most yes, so the far most all right well yeah. what can we expect in terms of uh, performances because I know that as you guys mentioned um, a lot of them seem like really experienced singers is it something that we may be expecting more uh, uh, trained singers this season I don't, yeah, I wouldn't say experience, but they were good. The okay. talent was good. Talent, yeah. you know, raw so talent. One of the things that um, that I really appreciate about what what they're doing this year with um, KTV the remix is, um, if you recall last year they had um, the music teacher, the vocal coach, Gisela Bryan, Giselle. volunteer mm -hmm. to come in and work with some of the with the singers and who whoever wanted help. Mm -hmm. And this year, um, the production team they've decided to bring her on as an actual part of the show full-time so there's gonna ha be that that vocal training that's available to them throughout the duration of the of the competition and I'm a huge 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 believer that wherever you are in music mm -hmm. and in life there's always room for improvement yeah so I'm really hoping that as many of the contestants as possible they take advantage of that resource that's available to them because I think that a lot of them as Andazi said they have that raw talent and they have that raw singing ability but I think that working on that and, and working through that within during the competition is going to help to take them to another level. So I'm really looking forward to that. So what's going to be really exciting is to see them develop over mm -hmm. time mm. because they're getting the training behind the scenes, right? Yeah. And then they're getting the feedback from us. And so I'm excited about that part because I really always love to see people grow. Yeah. You know, you come out and you have the raw talent and sometimes you don't know what to do with it. So to be able to have guidance and feedback is so important. And so I'm excited about that part. What are you looking for? Aside from the criteria that's set for judging, are there certain nuances in terms of uh, personalities on stage, in terms of uh, performance that you're keen on? I want to people have fun. I think yeah. that's number one. Like you have to enjoy what you're doing, right? And then um, we have some very passionate people. Um, we have some shy people, you know. So I, I'm looking for people to be open to mm -hmm. whatever comes. Yeah. You've yeah. come a long way in music. Hmm. From, <laughs> <laughs> henchmob from your days in Henchmob <laughs> and optimistic views. And oh well, I know your whole history. Right. Right? <laughs> but it's your first time as a judge in this kind of a competition. Yeah. How does that yeah, feel for yeah. you to make that transition from artist to judge? You know, I've always valued um, learning, mm -hmm. whether I'm doing the teaching or learning from someone. And I think that you learn at each stage. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd be surprised at how much just having knowledge of anything, whether it's the industry or knowledge of your voice, knowledge of yourself as a person, um, really helps, you know. so. I'm just excited to be a part of the whole process because, like you said, I've gone through my own journey. Yeah. I feel like I'm still on that journey, you know, even at this age and with everything that I've experienced. It's been a lot, but um, I just love the opportunity to be able to learn and also teach, you know. Now, Jenny, you are the veteran of the bunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, how excited you are, particularly this season, to still be here with us. I'm shocked. <laughs> 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 no, I'm 
come on. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Every year that I come back, it, it's really exciting for me. Yeah. I love, I love interacting with the um, with the performers. I love interacting with the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Despite <laughs> some of the antics sometimes. <laughs> um, but really look forward to that. But what I really look forward to is watching the um, the performers grow, mm -hmm. because they do grow. Um, some of the ones that you really, I, I, at the beginning, I look at them and I'm thinking, uh, but then you see them begin to blossom. And with Giselle, last year it was amazing where they came from, where they where they ended up. It was excellent. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Really yeah. looking forward. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the auditions. Mm -hmm. So you guys had to endure all of these performances. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be endured because, because, because let's be fair and honest with each other. While there were great moments and standout um, prospects, there were perhaps others that you kind of scratch your head and be like, okay, what am I? <laughs> Those are the best ones, especially for TV, which we definitely want to see tonight. So you had to live through that. <laughs> All right? And, and survive. I, and survive, <laughs> yes. I prefer being frank about it, right? <laughs> what were some of the wow moments and what were some of the scratch your head moments in all of this? I just got to ask because if I'm a fan and I'm watching at home, mm -hmm. I know that not everything over the watch is what <laughs> actually took place. So let's, let's get the scoop. You, you know, I feel like... I feel like we can't say too much because uh -huh. you know we have to wait for the, for the audition show tonight. Um, but what I will say is this: when it comes to the the process of putting yourself out there and auditioning and that kind of thing, no matter how the audition goes, no matter what the outcome is, and even if it is, as you said, one of those scratch your head moments, <laughs> it takes a lot of courage yeah. to, to yeah. put yourself out there like that. And I think that that's something that we that we forget very easily, uh -huh. especially for, for the viewers sitting at home watching and who might be critical of, of some of these people who come out to audition. At the end of the day, they're being critical of someone who was at least brave enough to try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think I would encourage people, especially because we all know we all know how, how, how brutal you know the comments and everything yeah. could get with, with KTV yeah. and everything that I would encourage people to kind of keep that in mind, you know, that this person is out there doing something that you sitting at home w have not had the, the courage, the bravery, the passion to even venture out and do, you know? Right, right. And you, Jenny, because you were day one. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so <laughs> some, a, a, you know, a few of them were like, I think my eyes did flops. And I hope the TV did. <laughs> One thing we know about you, Jenny, is that you can't hide your facial expression. We can tell what you're thinking, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> but more, I would say um, there were more great singers, the good singers, mm -hmm. than there were people who really um, couldn't sing. Yeah. Yeah. The thing, though, I, and I've, I've seen this over the, over the years of, of seeing this, is that some of the folks come and they're not really good singers, but boy, they can perform. Mm. And you have to take that into consideration. And I get, in fact, I get caught up with that as a, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. um, if they're a really good performer and then their voice develops over the process, over the, the number of weeks that we're out there. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, but back to the audition. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> because I know it's not everything you see or you hear. You love it, you love it, you love it. True. I don't I don't want to um well I don't want to hurt the person's feelings mm -hmm. because we want other people to come next year. Certainly. Yeah. So I don't want to like dash their hopes totally. But at the same time, I, I want to be gentle, you know, yeah. and sometimes yeah. I get sucked in by that, too. <laughs> so you know, you know, like when you watch American Idol mm -hmm. and you have someone who's a brutal critic like Simon Cowell, who gives you it the way it is, no sugar coating or what have you. Some people would say that it's a bit too much, but other people would also argue that Perhaps it's that kind of bluntness that people need to really understand where they are with their craft. Now, how you say it is one thing. What you say is another. But at the end of the day, you as judges, you're sitting there, 
there are specific criteria that you're looking for and some will make that, some won't make that. Okay. What is your outlook with respect to judging? I figure Alex is here. So who <laughs> can be the mean judge is what we're asking. Who's the mean judge this season? I don't know. They keep looking at I don't think I'm... I, I don't know that we have a mean judge. I think Ms. Jenny, Alex, and I are all on the same page about being kind. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, there is value in honesty, mm -hmm. um, Isani, as you're alluding to. Mm -hmm. You know, and one thing that I always am is honest, but it doesn't have to come across brutally. As mean or what? Right. And mean, yeah. listen, yes, people will say that that builds your character. Mm -hmm. in, my, in my own career, you know, being outside of Belize, the, the feedback always came, the negative feedback always came with a brutal edge. Mm -hmm. And it forces you to kind of reflect and look at yourself and see what you can improve. Mm -hmm. But I think we all agree that it's not necessary to be brutal, but yeah. maybe necessary, not maybe, definitely necessary to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm definitely going to be honest. <laughs> but I'm not going to be mean. <laughs> yeah. and I think that Andazi said something important too because especially like when you have experience and stuff, especially studying in the arts outside of Belize, mm -hmm. the, 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 the instructors and stuff that you have, they, they're not mince words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't tell you how it is, mm -hmm. they don't tell you about yourself, no. Mm -hmm. But something that I've realized about me personally is that tough love has never worked on me. Mm. You know? <laughs> so if that is something that I don't want to receive from other people, then why should that be something that I give yeah. to other people? You don't it. Yeah. 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 You, don't have you know, I, I think that you could be kind and yeah. honest at the same time. Right. I noticed that we had some familiar faces return from last season. Uh, are you guys able to tell us if we might be seeing some of them this season? Yes, no? You'll be seeing them in the audition show for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing them tonight. <laughs> well, then it, that's maybe a question that I have. Uh, it, is it possible that someone that made the cut uh, in a previous season, can they audition again for KTV? Sabrina, they try to get with us. too much. <laughs> they try to get with us in with soul. <laughs> audition again. But the thing is, if they were in the top three wow. of, um, of any season, they wouldn't be able to compete. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. that's something I guess that they should know then in the right. future. All right. Well, I see. I definitely have seen some familiar faces, and I'm really excited because we also had some social media influencers that that stepped out as well. Was that shocking for you guys as judges? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. Again, I don't want to say too much. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> we're gonna like, go. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, it was shocking because sometimes, like, especially when I, when I saw him or her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> him or her. Him yeah. or her. Um, <laughs> you could mention it, yes. Yuhan, um, <laughs> Yuhan came on audition, and he even posted it online on his social media, and that was, you know, the free advertisement that we appreciated <laughs> as well. Um, but what, were you, what, what did you guys think of that, you know, a social media influencer that also loves the mic? Initially, when I saw him, my first thought was, "This he try set to up. This he try, yeah, yeah, this both be just a puppy show." Thing. <laughs> okay. he but try put one but then when he when he opened his mouth and he actually right. sang, mm -hmm. I was like, "Okay, yeah. all right, he has a voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He can definitely sing. has a voice. <laughs> Enough to turn your perceptions <laughs> around." <laughs> <laughs> they're agreeing in unison that he has what? a voice. Next week? <laughs> they never say what type of voice is Isani, remember? They never say what type. Tune in Tuesday, July 4th to find out. Tune in tonight uh, to find out from auditions, and mm -hmm. we could be the judge ourselves, yeah? And we could find mm -hmm. out who makes it. Oh, yes, so that yeah. is something, I guess, that I want to know. Um, when it comes to narrowing down the list of all these auditions, what are you guys looking for when you make that final decision? Talent, mm -hmm. real talent. Yeah. I mean, there was so much to select from. Mm -hmm. It really came down to who the best voices were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think that was one of my first questions, right? Are we looking for talent or entertainment? Yeah. Because both can be great, mm -hmm. you know, but what, what are we looking for? And, you know, talent was the number one. It is a singing competition. Mm -hmm. You know, as we know, people who have been on Channel 5 singing competitions have become artists here in Belize yeah. and so I think um, this year we really wanted to preserve that you know uh, people who are serious about their talent or yeah. at least enjoy it you know but it's so such a talented. delicate line though it's a delicate between line. B 
being able to entertain and being skillful because on it the is mic. tv right yes. so you have to be entertaining you could, so it's like you could stand in front of a, a microphone and belt out a tune uh -huh. and sound good uh -huh. but you're stiff in delivery right mm -hmm. so you need to be able to have interactions with the audience yeah. you'd soon be able to hit that note and so on and so forth so i think that's what makes an ideal artist correct and it is important as exactly mm. what i was going to say um isani it's not just about your voice it is about having well as they say the in french je ne sais quoi yeah, you know it's, it's important quoi, yeah. so mm. it's it's nerve-wracking to choose someone who's shy and to hope that they're going to develop because it mm. is still entertainment right and it mm. is important you know that's something i struggle with myself you know i'm very shy yeah. you know but um really <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't know, I right? know. <laughs> most people are like what <laughs> no that's something i had to work on over the years i mean even doing interviews yeah. you know um it's it's not easy as alex said you're putting yourself out there you are the product you are the entertainment all eyes on you and you have to deliver mm -hmm. it's a lot so you know the behind the scenes development is important i think us giving the feedback and you know so we we did start with talent and you know some and there were entertainment elements as well um and hopefully we can see that all come together yeah what i'm i want sure. sorry, sorry go ahead i was just going to add to that um and when it comes to that stage presence i think that that stage presence doesn't have to look the same for everybody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think you have to know kind of what your what your voice type is what your niche is what your vibe is um you know, one of my favorite quotes is that genius is the person best at being themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's about knowing yourself and, and knowing what your strengths are because one person, for one person, that stage presence could be jumping up and down on stage, dancing, getting a lot of audience interaction. But for another person, they could have a very powerful stage presence standing in one spot and just delivering mm -hmm. without having to move around too right. much. So I think it's understanding who you are, understanding mm -hmm. what kind of energy you have and being very intentional about what you put forward. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that when it comes to those people who have the voice, but they're kind of just like in their shell when they come to audition, I think one of the most, to me, like rewarding, fulfilling things is seeing that moment when they step outside themselves yeah. and, and, they, and they gain that confidence and they deliver on stage. It doesn't always happen, but when it happens, it's a beautiful right. thing. So I want to know, she said it's shy person, not criticize there too yeah. much, you know. We are hoping and waiting for that moment when they when Lots they open up because it's gonna shell. be it w mm -hmm. it's gonna be exciting you know uh, as Alex says if it happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually does. Mm. Yeah. What I want you guys to do before we end this segment, right? It's usually us as uh, host and co-host that we're pitching why viewers and fans of KTV should watch the show. But I want to take this opportunity to ask you guys to pitch to our viewers why ktv5 is a must see tv let's start with you and that <laughs> is. <laughs> well i'm already having fun i mean uh -huh. like i said uno atera here i mean say the word fun you know i think fun is so important um it's it, it's fun it's um you know uh discovering new talent that you that you never knew about um um i know fun watch it it's fun <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, um, in a lot of ways, KTV is a platform and a showcase for a lot of undiscovered Belizean talent. Mm -hmm. And here in this country, we have such a diverse people and with diverse backgrounds, mm -hmm. but with so much talent and so much ability and so much potential. And the thing that I look forward to the most is just seeing us as Belizeans support each other mm -hmm. in, in developing and in growing and, and in owning just how amazing we are as a people. I, I want to add to that in that instead of being the thumb bully or yelling things, negative things to, to the, these folks who have come forward with their talent to, to present to you, accept it as the gift that it is rather than beat up on folks. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the one part of the, of the show and the presentation that I don't like, the, the comments on yeah. in social media. You don't love it. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, because I, you know, I, I worry about the fact that other talent next year might not come forward because yeah. of the the bad behavior of some of the folks out there. Yeah. But I am really you, you seem shaking when they get excited. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I really do get excited. Um, I'm looking forward to the starting. All right. Well, you heard it from the judges themselves, definitely. I mean, if that's not enough to convince you to watch KTV the remix, at least this season, then we can't pitch it any more than <laughs> we can't pitch it any better. <laughs> but we're excited too. And as we mentioned, uh, tonight at 8 o'clock, uh, you guys can get to see the auditions. We don't, we, we haven't seen it completely. Oh. We try PP now and again, <laughs> but even, you know, we're not able to tell. So um, uh, we're excited. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We know that this uh, Tuesday today at 8 o'clock, we will be airing the auditions, but we also know that next week, Tuesday, it's live and in person. <laughs> Yes. All right, you guys have one uh, late nights, late Tuesday nights, ready? I know, right? The longest <laughs> night. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you guys being here with us and talking to us about KTV and just getting us all pumped and excited. Thank you. Thank you for too. having us. <laughs> all, right. all right, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll be joined by representatives of Orange Walk Fair Trade Committee to talk about their fair trade market day. Don't go away.